Hi friends. The pasta video is today. So I'm working pretty quick today. I've got ravioli filling cooking on the stove and I want to get this going just so it can rest while that's cooking. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're going to add in a cup of semolina flour. Totally not required. You could totally use whatever flour you have on hand, honestly. Just some are going to provide just a little bit of a different texture. Oops, one cup, right? Okay. True professionals would weigh this out. We don't have time for that, right? <laughs> this is a working household, just got off work. And now let me get my paddle. Mm. Yeah, we'll use the paddle. You could use the dough hook for this too, but we'll just do the paddle. All right. I'm gonna give that a little stir, get it all incorporated. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. We're going to add in four eggs. For my ravioli filling, guys, just to let you know what I'm working with, I've got probably, mm, half a pound, three quarters of a pound of spicy Italian sausage, some mushrooms and some red onion sauteing. We're gonna mix that with some feta cheese. All right, we're gonna give that a go till it's all mixed in well, probably medium speed. And then I'm gonna drizzle in about a teaspoon of um, olive oil or this is avocado oil. We're gonna just let that go for till it's well combined. Sorry, let me shut that off for a little bit. We're gonna um, mix that till it's well combined, probably five to seven minutes. Let the gluten and everything really come together. Seems a little more moist than maybe that we did the last time, yeah. but we played around with it a little bit. It seems like it's gonna work well. Our pasta machine, made by a company called Mercado. Mm -hmm. You can get them on Amazon. Yep. Ours is the Atlas 150. Comes with a clamp to clamp it onto your countertop. Little crank. And different attachments, right? Yeah, so like this cutter is for like angel hair pasta and for fettuccine, but they make like a whole bunch of different cutters so that you can add lasagna noodles, all kinds of different things on there. And Todd just bought me ravioli cutters the other day. So today we're gonna oh, yeah. cut it with our ravioli I cutters. I forgot I bought that for you. Um, so we'll leave a link in the description to the one that we're using. We use a little piece of wood underneath on the bottom for our counter because the little clamp, that little circle piece is pretty small and we don't want it to create a stress on our counter. So just put that little piece of wood in there and it kind of distributes the force across a bigger area instead of just a small little spot like that. And then we just keep a little bowl of flour so that we can keep the counter surface floured. And as we're running the dough through, we'll just keep layering that on. Mm -hmm. Yep, and as far as like managing your dough, don't feel like you need to do it like all in one big batch and end up with these super, super long sheets. We broke ours down into like three little batches that we're gonna start off with for now. And you start on the widest setting and you run it through multiple times on the widest setting and then once on each lower setting, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, and as you do it, you're gonna roll it out, fold it, at least once. Sometimes depending on how your pasta, the consistency turns out, you can get away with folding it twice. Um, we're just gonna start with, with once for now. And by folding it over onto itself like that, you're helping to develop the glutens in the flour and make it stronger and stretchier and more like pasta. Ooh. 
some more setting. Okay, we'll leave it like that and do the next one. Yep. And I'm just gonna sprinkle the surface just a little bit just so the dough doesn't stick on itself. The way our brains think is completely different. <laughs> completely different. Yeah, and we should not. It's 6.30 six, <laughs> six now. We're both getting a little bit hang, <laughs> hangry because we decided to take you guys along with us as we make dinner and do a video about it. And as we've said in the past, anytime you... No, that's not going to work. <laughs> Anytime what? <laughs> Anytime you do something and you're going to film it, it's going to take at least twice as long as it would have taken it yeah. if you didn't film it, which is making us extra, extra angry or Well, we or... normally eat dinner at 5.30, so this is not going well. I think this, we have to use this one because that takes too much filling. Okay. So I wonder how close like this. Probably like that. So like I said, the filling is um, just Italian sausage, red onions, uh, mushrooms, feta cheese, Parmesan. I added some seasonings in it with it. Um, it smells amazing. Garlic powder, some herbs de Provence. And our plan is to fold this over and the noodles over on itself, right? And then... Yep. We'll get ravioli cut straight down the center and whatever's left will run through the pasta machine one last time for some fettuccine noodles for later in the week. Okay. Now you're doing this part. <laughs> I'm going to do this part? Yeah, because I've never done ravioli before. Okay. So we got a little small dish of water, warm water. We'll try, I'm going to try it with just water and you kind of wet the pasta around the edge where the, you want the ravioli to seal on itself. Well, they're square raviolis and you're doing circles. Yeah, I know. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Mmm, <laughs> that stuffing is great. I'm about to just eat mm -hmm. that for dinner. <laughs> Oh, you could tell him the cool story later about uh, the buffalo guy. Oh, yeah, sure. All right, this is the exciting part. Oh, oh hey, 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 what? Oh, what? This got all messed up. Oh. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> our, <laughs> our stuffing is too big. No, it, I used the tiny scoop. It can't be too big. Okay. Oh, isn't that precious? They do look cute. I think this first batch is going to be yours. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're more angry than me. I'm not angry. I'm <laughs> hold on, hungry. hold on. You don't want your stuffing seeping out into the edge where you're trying to seal your ravioli. Okay. Oh, darn! <laughs> I, I guess you have to cut it all the way through. I didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is only a how to make pasta video. It is not a how to make ravioli video. 
All right, you make yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get started on the sauce topping. Do you want red sauce? I don't care. I'm just hungry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I had to run by my father's house. They're, they're out of town right now. And they asked me to go by and check on his house for him. And when I was heading back, um, I noticed some guy in his driveway was, we had a bunch of snow the other day, like a lot, like 10 inches or something. And this guy was in his driveway with his backhoe and he, he appeared to be stuck. So I turned around and I drove back by and I looked at him again and I thought to myself, nah, he looks all right. Well, there's been so many times like in my life where I think, yeah, I should ask that person if they need help and I don't and then I regret it. So this time I was like, you know what, just go back and ask him, just see if he needs a hand. And he definitely was stuck. And of course, at first he's like, no, no, I don't need I don't need any help. I can get it. You can't get a backhoe stuck. You can always get out, he tells me. Well, that was not the case. He was really stuck in the ditch. So I told him, I'm like, well, I'm here. I got my truck. I got a strap in the back. I'll give you a hand and we'll, uh, we'll see if he can get you out of here. You know, I don't, Rachel, I think, was at home doing her workout or something. So I was like, I ain't, I ain't got to be home. I got nothing going on. I'll help you out. And he was an older gentleman. He seemed like he was probably retirement age or so. So it took about 20, 25, 30 minutes. We finally got him out. I was able to hook up my strap to uh, the front of his back hole and pulled him out. <clears throat> And I got talking with the guy and he raises buffalo. Not not like a beefalo, which is like a cross between buffalo and a cow, but just pure bred Great Plains buffalo. And he has a, um, a herd of about 20 and he raises them for meat right in his backyard. He feeds them grain, not grain, hay. So he spends a lot of his summers harvesting hay, round bales, and that's what kind of feeds his buffalo over the winter. And uh, he invited me and Rachel to come back like this uh, spring, summer, when it gets warm, to go check out his buffalo operation. And of course he wanted to, I thought he wanted to pay me for helping him. And no, 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 no. I'm gonna give you some buffalo meat. So he gave me Two really nice, probably a pound and a half each of buffalo meat um, ground. So we're gonna have to try that out, see how it is. We gotta find something good to make with it. Just asked Todd, who's the the chef in the house, how long to cook them. He said four or five minutes, probably. Now that we're completely filthy, honestly, guys, this is why I cook convenience foods. Why I can convenience foods because I don't have time to make this fun stuff after work. I wish I did. But I just opened up a jar of our homemade spaghetti sauce, so we'll just do quick and easy and pour that over. So our raviolis turned out. They got a little wrinkly, and I think a couple of them might have like popped open. But these ones turned out really good. So we'll make these ones for Rachel. How's that look? That looks amazing. Beautiful. Well, mercy sakes, guys, we have quite the mess to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> you want some some parmesan? Me, please. But I don't even care. It's staying like this right now because I just want to eat and go sit down. <laughs> so with those last noodles, I'm going to be honest, I just took my bench scraper to it and just cut it all into tiny little dumpling style egg noodles. So we'll use those later for something or I'll throw them in the freezer. It turned out 
It looks amazing. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. I'm sure it's going to taste amazing, but it was a bit of a train a wreck <laughs> getting from point A to point B. It's a little bit of a learning curve, but hey, I said I was going to share it with you. I did not claim to be an expert. <laughs> yeah, and we everything that we share with you isn't because we're experts, experts at no. it. We learn right along with you guys. Yeah. So, And part of my goal is to make as much homemade as I can. I told him tonight, you're never going to make pasta <laughs> with me again. <laughs> but maybe if we just leave this attached to the counter. <laughs> All right. But it's Little House on the Prairie time. Season 7, Episode 1. That's where we are if you're playing along. Yes. Laura and Almanzo are getting serious. Mm-hmm. Thanks, guys, for coming along for dinner tonight. We'll talk to you later. All right. Let's go eat. Yes.